Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with meteorologist Sarah Kress. Yesterday, we definitely felt that heat, getting up to about 91 into Medford, 93 down into Montague, 90 in Grants Pass. I'm also sick of seeing those 90s, but today we will be cooling off. We'll be back into the 70s over into the Rogue Valley and into Klamath Falls, a little bit warmer down into Northern California, possibly a few areas making it up into the 80s, but it is going to be feeling much better today than it did yesterday. We can also expect to see those breezy conditions as well. And a few of those clouds making their way through this morning. We started off with a few clouds into the sky. So those will definitely be clearing out by the time we head into this afternoon hours and take a look at that. Just a few upper level clouds pushing through the area today, but it is going to be bright and sunny. So definitely don't leave the house without your sunglasses today because again, it's going to be very bright out there. Definitely seeing those blue skies today. But again, wind gusts will be picking up. We are going to see some of those gusts starting out this morning along the coast with breeze overnight and as we head into the second half of today again we're going to see a lot of those breezes begin to pick up into those afternoon hours even over into the rogue valley we're going to see some of those afternoon breezes but the strongest gusts are going to again be over east of the cascades into lake county now, if you are looking to head out and catch some of that fall foliage, this is what it's projected to look like as we head into tomorrow. We will have an update tomorrow for you as well, but leaves are going to begin to start changing fast. We're heading into October and I'm ready for fall. Now, it might not feel like it as we head into the second half of this week, but at least it's going to begin to look like it. So if you are heading out to Maybe go to a pumpkin patch today. We are going to see temperatures again start out pretty cool this morning into the 50s, getting into the mid 60s by the time we hit noon and by 5 p.m. Finally getting into the 70s and won't be feeling too bad tomorrow. Definitely going to be feeling cool. Definitely need some apple cider with your trip outside or if you're heading out hiking, definitely going to again need those sunglasses for tomorrow. But let's go ahead and take a look at your seven day for the coast. Expect those breezy conditions as we begin into this week that Chetco effect really warming up the coast Monday and Tuesday but overall not looking too bad now over into Northern California bright and sunny as a high pressure does build at the beginning of this week and it's going to be cooling down slightly as we do head into that Wednesday and over into the Klamath Basin warming up as we head into Tuesday then cooling down slightly but temperatures are going to remain very similar to each other for the rest of this week and same deal over to the mountains but Tuesday making it up into the 80s quite warm and we'll see those bright and sunny conditions as we do head through this week and finally back over into the Rogue Valley. Definitely, if you're looking to head outside, going to be nice the next few days, a warmer on Tuesday, but thankfully we're coming back down to seasonal and possibly as we do head into the second half of this week into the weekend, possibly tracking some chances for showers, but right now it is looking dry. We'll make sure to keep you updated as we head further into this week.